Well, this is it. This is the set that I got at the estate sale. A 1961 Admiral. This set cost me ten dollars. It's in beautiful condition, a bit dirty. It's the 23 inch set. Grow cloth with some cleaning it is in beautiful condition. It's on wheels, which is amazing. And the paint is in beautiful condition because this is metal. It, there's like very little plastic on this too. This knob is metal. This is plastic. This is plastic. This is plastic. This is metal. This is metal. That's metal. That's metal too. That's the wood, I believe. This bottom base is wood, but the rest is metal. Oh, of course. Of course, that thing has to go on. It's only gonna be on for a couple seconds though, probably. Maybe like a minute. Unfortunately, this set is in sort of working condition. It's, uh, it powers on. The lights on the dial work too. But the, there we go. But the picture doesn't work. I don't think the picture tube is weak because I, <laughs> So when I turned it around, the picture tube was, had a filament, but I took the back off, well, of course unplugged, and all of the tubes were original. Like all the tubes had Admiral written on them, and then I realized this set could be all original, like all original electrolytics and all original tubes. It was in the upstairs, and it's probably, that's probably the reason why it wasn't thrown away in 2009, when the, the analog stations were shut down by the FCC. But hey, now it's sitting in my basement, so it's a win for me. But it gets better, because not only is this set in beautiful condition, but, of course, that had, to, that had to turn on. But, it has paperwork with it, including, and the original service information. And this isn't a SAM, this is from the fact of Admiral Factory. The lights, the lights in here are dismal, but I can't really do anything about it. Unless I stand all the way over here which I know you can't really see where I'm standing, but it's kind of far away from the camera. There's the massive schematic. This would be great for anybody who needs it, if you can't even see it. 
and keep it there for a minute in case anybody needs it. Wants it for free. I know it's not high resolution, but it's free. There's the parts list as well. got the original inspection sheet, inspection tag, and even the original punch card. But the real gem of this is the service manual, which I'll come over here. 1925 RCRCA Radio 20. This is kind of a manual that doesn't really go in depth, but it only has four pages. But hey, there's the original letter. And you know, if you look at how 50s that, elite 50s, and early 60s that is. With that kind of, with that thought, and the uh, and the t and the uh, picture, a test picture with the the Indian head or Native American head, or is what I should call it. Come on, focus. I do have to use the uh, phone camera too. Unfortunately, it's not a UHF set, but I think it actually kind of makes it look nice, look better. It doesn't have that kind of third patched on knob. But, anyways, so that's the first page. Here's the second page of the manual, which just kind of shows the different adjustments. And there's that page. Too. And look at that. Made in America by America crafts uh, by American craftsmen with American quality components. Can't say that about anything nowadays. Well, not everything nowadays, I should say. There is some stuff still made in the USA, but it's getting scarcer and scarcer at this point. It's too bad too. I think if we got more uh I think if we got more businesses back in uh, America, then we would be a little bit of much more better off and not not rely on China so much. But hey, I don't really like to bring politics into things. So back to this Admiral. Ad, ad, yeah, Admiral. Had to uh, stop myself there because I keep, I keep saying ad, admirable instead of Admiral. So I thought I just said it there for a second, but I thought about it and I said, oh no, I said Admiral. So anyways, the, I really don't have a lot more to say on this set, but uh, in the manual here, actually, there, uh, here it goes, it just calls it a, uh, Wide angle, 33, uh, 23 inch. And there's a whole page on, cl on cleaning the picture uh, the picture window. So if you guys have any sets that have uh, dirty, pi uh, dirty uh, picture fronts, then hey, there you go. Operating hints. Here's some tips and tricks on how to operate your Admiral Servi uh, your Admiral TV set. There's the uh, there's the letter in case anybody wants to read it.
I think I'm gonna read it now too. Uh, he read it too. Dear friend, I am delighted to welcome you to the ever-growing family of those who own an admiral quality television receiver. The instrument which you have purchased combines the most advanced engineering design, maximum reliab reliability, and the finest performance with modern and graceful cabinetry. Oh, hey. They're not wrong. It's a very smart looking set. Anyways. Uh, where was I? Your set has been... Produ uh, produced by skilled American craftsmen using American components, all under the most rigid quality control standards in America's most modern produ uh, production facilities. The thousands of admiral engineers and craftsmen are all working closely together and, des uh, and deservedly proud of the set they have produced for you. We certainly, uh, we are certain that you too will be proud of its performance and lasting beauty. Well, here we are in 2022, 60, actually no, 2023, gosh. Why did I say 2022? Anyways, here we are uh, 62 years later and here it is. Still hanging on there. And it'll be hanging on for a long time after, now that I own it. We know you will deserve uh, be uh, oh. and we know you will derive years of continued use and enjoyment from it. Sincerely, Ross D. Saragusa. Saragusa. And it's from the Admiral Corporation Office of the President. Ooh, sounds fancy. Admiral Wide Angle 23 Inch Television. Just look at that manual. Look at the cover of that manual. Gorgeous. But that's kind of really all I have to say. More. Uh, that's kind of really all I have to say on this TV so far. This set is definitely deserving of a uh, of a of a tune-up. Maybe not by me. Maybe by me. But there it is. Well, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. You know all that. I don't have to repeat it. And thank you for watching. I gotta go before that thing turns back on again. Bye!